It's my pleasure to yield uh, two minutes to the gentleman from California, Mr. Costa. The gentleman for, uh, from California is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Jackson, for her leadership in this important issue. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as a co-chair of the Victims' Rights Caucus with my colleague, uh, Congressman Ted Poe, I am a proud co-sponsor of this important legislation for victims in America who have suffered from these crimes. A free and open Internet, we all believe, is essential to economic growth, entrepreneurship, and enterprise in the 21st century, and America leads the way. This new technology age has reshaped our lives, allowed for greater access to learning, greater ability to shape our futures of the Americans, and with economic benefits we could not have imagined 15 years ago. Sadly, there are some people who look at these freedoms and the openness of the Internet and see ways to exploit, abuse, and prey on innocent children and teenagers in the name of profit. It's outrageous, and it's a crime. I'm speaking of the scourge of sex trafficking, which has impacted the lives of too many young people in the San Juan King Valley that I represent and throughout America. Today here in Congress, we look squarely at traffickers, pimps, and victimizers and say we must do a better job in protecting our citizens. As a result of this legislation, our laws will no longer be manipulated and used as a cover for their abuse. No longer will these people be able to hide behind the shield that the Internet provides you when knowingly contributing to this horrible crime. The Fresno Bee, a local daily newspaper in the Valley, recently ran a six-week-long series of human trafficking in the Valley. I ask for unanimous consent to include the Fresno Bee articles for the record. Uh, the request will be covered under general leave. Okay. Thank you. The paper reported that nearly every 16-year-old girl in Fresno has been approached at one time or another by sex traffickers. Imagine that. Almost every nearly 16-year-old girl in, in our county. Police have seen sex trafficking victims from every high school in Fresno County and most of the junior high schools. It's, it's, it's horrible. This is a tragedy and it cannot and should not be allowed to continue. Today, we say it's time to make important changes. This legislation does that. The, it will help protect the, our children and provide them the ability to confront their abusers. The gentleman's time has expired. I ask for 10 seconds. <laughs> I'd be happy to yield the gentleman 30 seconds. I thank the, the gentlewoman. Recognize for 30 seconds. Thank you. Uh, as I said, it's time to make these important changes, and this bipartisan legislation does that. It protects our children, providing them the ability to confront their abusers, including those who knowingly promote and advertise these crimes. I thank the gentlewoman, and I thank the bipartisan leadership in this effort, and I yield back the balance of my time.